Hi Tarun, so I'm just going to finish off that work we were looking at on fusion together um, and then I'll ask you to try and follow it as best you can. Hopefully it will be quite simple to follow. Uh, my mouse has now decided to play up so I can't, oh, yes here we go, fusion. So just to recap where we got to together. So we had created the side. We had then done the cuts into the edge of it. Now the next thing I'm going to just show you how I did it, because I know you hadn't got to here yet. So in edit, so if I come in here, I've just got this tool, the rectangle tool, and I've drawn a rectangle along here. The length of it doesn't matter too much, providing it's got at least as far as these cutouts each end. You could go all the way to the end, that doesn't really matter, but it must at least come over these cutouts. I've made it six mil, because ply comes in three, six, nine, 12, et cetera, so six is fine. And then I've done D for dimension, selected the line, selected the bottom of the block, and made it 10 mil from the bottom. It doesn't have to be 10 mil, that was just what I decided to do. And then I've used the extrude tool, selected what I wanted to extrude, and cut that hole into it. So we're most of the way here with this done. Now what I need to do is a new sketch on the top. I need to zoom out. I want to now to cut into the middle of the square and I'm suddenly remember I can't remember exactly how to find the middle of it. It was 310, wasn't it? I recall that. So I want to do a, let's, because we probably want a similar thickness to this. Now this we chose to do 12, didn't we? So you want a 12 millimeter a hole in the middle of this, similar to this. So what I just need to do is do D for dimension there to there. So that's 286. We need to do 286 and we need to take away uh, 60 from that. No, we don't need to take away uh, 12. Uh, what did we say? 12 millimeters, didn't we? 12 millimeters. So we need to take away 12, so that becomes 274. And then we need to divide 274 by 2. So 274 divided by 2 is 39. So from here, I'm just going to draw. I'm going to draw a rectangle and then I'm going to constrain it in a minute. So I believe we said 239 from here to here. No, 139 I think I said. From here to here. I'm going to constrain it in terms of its thickness. So that should be 12. And then I'm going to constrain it by how much it sticks into the timber. So there, to there. And I want that dimension to be six. Wow, we were close. Six. So if I've got all that right, that should now be halfway along. So I can just get this little bit. And I can extrude, I can cut down till I get to there. And I've now cut that part out. If I cut it all out, no, I've missed a little bit, so I can change that feature, edit feature. I can come down a little bit further. Now, I hadn't managed to ask you when we were last speaking about how wide these side parts are, so I'm gonna have to guess. So the next thing I'm gonna do is new sketch, and I'm gonna come from here, and zoom in. I'm gonna draw a rectangle, that exactly fits, so I know that's 30. Yep, so that's correct. Finish that sketch. Now I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna E for extrude. New body, not join new body, I'm gonna pull that out. Like I said, I don't know how wide you want it, so I'm gonna try 150, just see how that looks. You obviously have the real dimensions, okay? I think that actually joined it. So I'm going to go back in, edit that. It did, it joined it. I want a new body. Very important, it's a new body. Okay. So this is a new body here. Yep. And if I come up to here, I've got my bodies. I can rename them. 
long side one, short side one, and I've got my two bodies. Now I need to replicate this side cut. We're coming towards the end of the complexity, by the way, now. So I need to draw a new one, uh, a new sketch here. And then just as before, I need to draw myself a six millimeter slot going all the way along. So you can see that's actually 4.6. So I just need to get my dimensions. Make that six. And then my dimensions from there to the bottom. Complaining at me. So from there to the bottom. Let's just undo. undo it again. Why is it? I tell you what I'll do is I'll constrain it this way before I constrain the height. Maybe that's what it's not liking. So there to there. I'll make that 10. 10. And then there to there. interesting hmm let me just redo this come back out a little bit let's check out what's going on because so I'll just get rid of this spin round then just randomly draw this the, the actual height isn't so the length doesn't matter because we're going to be just cutting out so now I'll constrain that. Oops, that wasn't constrained. It was on there. That was rectangle. Constrain. I'm rushing a little bit here because I'm conscious that there are other people that need my help as well. So that's 10. Beautiful. So that's now correct. So I can finish that up. Turn this body back on. Spin it round, see it there, lovely, get that. E for extrude, again in by five. Cut, beautiful. So now, hopefully you can see what we're starting to do, that we've got the slots cut. So all I need to do now is do, get this one, move copy, make sure I've got body, not faces, body, this body. I wanna create a copy, and I want to move it along this line here. And line that up there exactly. So move it by, let's try 290. 300 seems too much. Let's just try that again. So 290, not quite enough. Try 295, 296, 7. Two nine eight. Yes, two nine eight. So that's done it. And then I need to spin it round in its own length. So do move copy. This time I don't create a copy. I want to spin it. So yeah, around that center point, please. Um, oh, I've got faces, bodies. Yeah, so around that center point, please. Spin that. 180. Now it's not quite lined up correctly. So I need to again move that. So that's minus 10. Let's make that minus 12. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. So now we're getting the box. This one. Move copy, not faces, bodies. So let's get right in the center there. Good. Create a copy. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to spin it, 180, and then I'm going to move it until it's just sat exactly where I need it to be. You can see I need to come back a little ways. So that looks about right. I'll need to just check that that is right later, but that's looking pretty good. 
So now we've got that. So now all we need to do is make the floor in here and then this part here. So to make that floor, I'm just gonna turn off this one. And in fact, I'm gonna leave everything else on as a guide. I'm gonna do new sketch and get this back part there. In fact, that's not where I want the sketch, so we'll finish that, that was wrong. I actually got the wrong part, so I'm zooming so I can really see. I want to get this part there, All right? So new sketch, this part here. Zoom out, rectangle, and all the way to there. And down to exactly six, come on, let's make that six. Beautiful. Finish. 3D. Get that part we just drawn. Let's switch that off for the moment. So I need to get that and that. E for extrude and pull it out and it needs to come five millimeters longer. So I need to get it this dimension. Not joined, must be new body. Switch these back on. Okay, we're nearly there, aren't we? They're, oh, look, it sticks out too far. So in fact, I think this wall, yes, that's in the wrong place, so I've got it slightly wrong. Move, copy, not faces, bodies. This one, this plane of movement, let's just, not 10, let's take it five, four, get from the side, get from above, little gap, so not four, let's do three, do two. Yes, that's landed now. That's 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 now correct. Let's look at it again. Have we got that sticky out problem? No, we haven't. So the only thing left to draw now is this arm that comes through here. So I want to do a sketch here. Uh, I can't see what I'm trying to draw because of this side. Now I can. So it's just simply here. So here, let's make 14, so it's a regular size and correct. Finish sketch. Turn this one back on. Get this here. E for extrude. New body. And pull out, pull out, pull out. Ah, okay. Can you see here this slight conflict? That means when I did my mats for cutting this hole, that I got my mats slightly wrong. So you need to be a little bit more careful. I was rushing to do that. So that's come back to bite me. So these, this and this don't quite align. So I need to go back and modify that. But anyway, this is how you do it, anybody. That's how you do it. You just need to avoid that one little mistake I made there. You can then come up and do A for appearance. Go get some nice words. I absolutely think this bamboo always looks good, even though you wouldn't really make it out of bamboo. But just does look nice. In here. And you can see beautifully how all these wood joints that we've made are now connecting together really beautifully with the, these gaps here. Uh, it's also interesting, I find, to do one of these IKEA views, I call them. So it's a visual style wireframe with edges only, and you can see how all the bits are there joining together. Okay, so actually you can see also that this one, the base one, when I extruded there is still a bit too long. So let's go back and find that. Let's edit that, uh, so close that out. Edit that, edit feature. Yep, yeah, it's still too long. So let's take that back there, we are 150 was, was right all along. And it's just the positioning of this one that I need to get right. So I'd say that's probably out by maybe one millimeter, something like that. So we just need to find, go back, find the sketch of that one. And then we need to, to modify that sketch. It's not that one, not that one, not that one. 